You're gonna pay to be a better man. Oh Try my God! Try change, change things, but I won't change time. We, this is the ninth episode we've started. I think in a row with a full song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I mean Shrek one. Can we talk about the best? Can we talk about Shrek one? Can we talk about Shrek one? Yeah. For Fuck it. The episode's <laughs> over. Close your laptop. Laptop. Just turn off have the we, camera. Have we ever mentioned this on the on on La Air <laughs> about La Air. Um, whether or not why I was so horrified from Shrek, Shrek one? Why? Something what? I didn't just kick this coffee Can table because I'm relax. not relaxed because I I was freaked out like it was freaky. Well, at the dress, end of, yeah. of Shrek one, dress like Shrek. In a good way. And you look like Fiona. Post-transformation. <laughs> oh! That was actually the thing I was traumatized by. Because even as a young gay boy, I was watching Shrek love the movie. Love like, the film. I was like, film. I love how they're Here's using the these film. fairy tale tropes. Even as a baby, I was like, I love what they're doing. I love a trope. I love a metaphor. Oh, I love, wow. They're really turning everything on its head. And yeah. I thought that was really, really artistic. But like the last moment, she chose to be ugly. I watched that and I said... Oh, so this is a horror <laughs> film. It made me sick to my stomach. Uh, yeah. like, like, don't, I, don't, don't pick that. Don't pick that choice. Like, like, don't change for that guy just because he's six foot four. You could still fuck the ogre. I almost think like a hot human fucking fuck the ogre, ogre. But that's like, our thing. But that oh, is that our might thing. Just be us. That might just be us. <laughs> like, Maybe that's, that's like where, a sexier situation to me than two gross ogres fucking. Like, ew. Ew. Like, <laughs> oh, it's classic Beauty and the Beast scenario. Yeah. Keep him the Beast. The Beast was hotter than the guy. Remember when the beast turned into a twang? Like a literally a twang. A twang. Yeah. <laughs> and the, the, Belle should have been like, oh, I don't, sorry. Oh, are you like 5'8"? Uh, like what? Where's that rose? <laughs> <laughs> Where, <laughs> oh, can we maybe put that rose back? Or? Wait, let's we'll see what the teacup looks like. All right, <laughs> let's let's see what that if looks everyone like. could change and we could start standing back to back, I'll get a measuring stick and then we'll decide who really owns this property. The, the drawers, what is that called? Draw animators? animators? The illustrators. Oh. The illustrators of that fairy tale. I think they fucked up. Animator. What? They fucked up. I think they were, like a twunk. they were men and I don't know that to be true, but yeah. they were, even if they were women, they were men. <laughs> And they were, they, trying, were, they were using men as like men were using them. They as were a either men or guys, girls. <laughs> yeah. And they were trying to convince us as women to settle. That's what that mm, was. With the hottest twonk ever. <laughs> no. <laughs> With the castle. No. I think like... they were gay guys. I think they were <laughs> yeah, gay yeah. Disney. <laughs> That's what happens I when you let Disney gay gays guy. take control. That's what happens when you let Disney gays run the world. Everybody's a twonk. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Step down. <laughs> Step down. Go back to the shadows. Can I, I tell a good you guy, I could say that. Please. I'm Gabby. What the fuck? <laughs> no. Yes. I thought your name was Chelsea this whole time. I know. Oh. I'm actually, Gabby, I've been letting you call me Chelsea for 11 years. Or Vanessa. You are a Felicity if I've ever met one. Wow. I know how I feel about that. Felicity? That's like classic hot girl name. I just don't Is it? think that. Felicity? I just don't think I feel I think that it way. could be. I don't know if it's classic to me. Like Vanessa? Vanessa? Oh, and you, Lizzie, you're girl. such a bird at I, that. <laughs> I, 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 I don't that. think that I am full like, um, like, uh, uh, Madeline. My oh. best friends from growing up, her hot older sister was named Madeline. And I was like, God, I wish my name was Madeline all of childhood. I get that. Yeah. I, I, I get that. But I don't think you're a Madeline. No offense. I think, I think like <laughs> Jessica. I see. Jessica? I see. Oh my God. What, what name, whatever name Sleeping Beauty, Aurora. Aurora. <laughs> I see that we're talking. I, I thought you were Jessica. Do I work at fucking Abercrombie and Fitch? Yeah. Wait, you that's could. actually cool. You and me, if you walked into Jessica, an Abercrombie. No, a Jessica works at Claire's. I'm just saying if you were working at an Abercrombie and Fitch, it wouldn't not work. I'm just saying. I'd work there now. I work there in high I'd school. I'd love to take a week off and just work at Abercrombie <laughs> and Fitch. You I'll actually run that shit to, to, to the I ceiling. I would yeah. literally make that into a corporation. <laughs> it would be Big Pharma by the time I'm done with it. I would make Abercrombie and Big Pharma. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest collab in history. Ex Opioids, <laughs> make them with a crop, make them a crop top. No, I, um, I actually miss old Abercrombie and Fitch before the shadow work. I think we needed one toxic brand okay when we get one. rid of all toxic Just the one. things that was it we can't live as a society because then there's no good versus evil then there's no uh, there's no friction we need friction there we need to walk past a, um, a store that makes us feel bad about ourselves because and then we go into the gap 
And feel awesome. And feel awesome. <laughs> okay. That is so true. We need to set the goalposts for what we're allowed to like and hate. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, it's fucking the whole world's a thrift store. Ew. Ew. Okay. And it's like it fucking weird. It's like a hand unless it's vintage. I'm in medical dress. Gabby hurts herself. And yeah. I'm Zach, by the way. <laughs> I hurt myself. Gabby hurts herself. Remember that, audience. Um, <laughs> Remember that this doesn't come easy for me. <laughs> She's leaving it all on the floor. I'm Zach, by the way, who could easily be a Josh, okay? You could be a Josh, but yeah. Adam. A Jack. I want to be Jack. You could be a Jack. That's I love like the, Jack. the perpendicular nature of my life. Straight you is, is, is Jack. Is Jack in a nightmare. Why are you in duress? I just got back from Bachelorette. Yes. Then. Or in... Um, in England, you call it a stag do. Or no, what's the woman? A stag do. Hen do. Hen do. They call it oh, a stag do and hens. a hen do. Yeah. Women are hens and men are men stags. Because always fucking on my right, guys. Let me see All some headshots. <laughs> yeah. And we can decide if you're a stag or not. Okay? Headshots. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be accepting headshots. Thank you for your time. <laughs> stag, deer, deer rabbit, um, literally fucking rat duck. rat, duck. You guys, I think this is actually a duckling party. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is more of a rat do than anything else. I'm going to need some headshots. I'm going to need some headshots if you want to go by stags, Jesus. Uh, in some of the UK, don't think so. I don't know. Don't some think guy so. Named Charlie who's like, arr, arr, you're not a stag. Arr, arr, arr. <laughs> Offensive. You're a seal. You can make fun of England and, and the way they talk and they like it. Yeah, you um, deserve it. Um, So I got back from a, a bachelorette weekend in Texas. T-E-X-Y. My home. T-M. My home TM. TM. Where, from where you're from. Rude. TM. TM. <laughs> Did they talk about me at all? <laughs> yeah. Everyone was like, oh my God, you like know Lizzie. Do you know Lizzie? He left here <laughs> she, and went to the big city. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, yeah. I'm like, I could text her. <laughs> no. I got recognized yeah. for our podcast in a country line dancing bar. You got what? I got recognized for our podcast in a country line dancing bar. Say that one more time with for power. I got recognized <laughs> from this podcast that we're doing right now in a country line dancing bar. A girl came up to me. I was obliterated. Obliterated. <laughs> Obliterated. I was. I was beyond. I was. I was like. I hope no one sees me right now. And then a girl said, "Um, are you Gabby Bryant?" Uh, and I went like this. <gasps> yeah. Mascara yeah. all over. <laughs> I'm like covered. Yes, it's me. So here's the deal. What'd she say to you? She's. I don't remember. Uh, oh. She said she loved the podcast. Uh, dot dot dot. There's okay. ellipses. Why, ellipses. Why she like ripped us to shreds? Yeah. I, like, I don't. It. I, I think it's notes. offensive. I don't get it. Yeah. Not in I Texas. think gay people shouldn't exist. <laughs> no, yeah. I, like that. I agree. <laughs> 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 Your host, by the way, gay guy. Um, well, I think that one clip we did went viral in Texina. Oh right, when when you suggested that all the hot guys all were hot, in all hot Texas. guys are in Texas, which is true. I do stand by that. I think all hot guys. No, are in the, Texas. I mean, the comments really sounded off about that. They were like, "Ew, no, they're not." Or like, yes, yes, girl. You know, oh yeah, yeah yes, yeah. girl. I went to a country. Okay, here's the thing. Yeah. I'll go into from the good to the bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this was a bachelorette. The good, bad, and the gorgeous. And the, go the good, bad, and the gorgeous. <laughs> That's what we do here. I went to a bachelorette party for one of my childhood best friends. Mm. I knew two girls on the bachelorette party that I went to high school with. Love. And her sister, and then a bunch of uh, physician's assistants who live in <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know any of these girls. They That's were all electric. named Chelsea. They were all named Chelsea. Throwing and you were a Chelsea in and that I was situation. A Chelsea. You were another Everybody Chelsea in that Chelsea. situation. Yes. Well, you could just be the every girl in that. You could like, they <laughs> don't know you. And also like your childhood friends like also don't know who you've become. I know. So it's like, what a freedom. I was walking in there like flubber baby. <laughs> <laughs> I could go into any room, into any conversation, like totally, 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 totally. totally. So I forgot what the feeling of being in a suburban house with 12 girls. That feeling a lot of girls. Powerful. is powerful and also demonic. Mm. Yeah. There's the, a quite juxtaposition there. The, the volume that we're reaching <laughs> is smashing windows. <laughs> I mean, I'm waking up at 8 a.m. These girls are screaming. I, I'm, like, I'm like, please, please, please. <laughs> it's so nice silence. Have you heard of it? Screaming. Screaming. Talk. I was acting like a real like divorcee dad and I would like take a cup of coffee and go uh, go walk in the woods. Oh, I was wow. like, I need to take a, a, a walk. There's also an interesting parallel when you get a bunch of guys in a basement. The low rumbling of their voice, yeah. that, that causes earthquakes. No, yeah, no. That's, that's, that's like seismic that. activity. Yeah. <laughs> that's seismic activity. activity. <laughs> Hell yeah. Literally the tectonic plates tectonic are shifting. Plates. <laughs> so one night, the first night, how many nights? One, two, three, four. 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 Four nights. 
Four nights. Four nights and mornings with dinners, breakfasts, yeah. even. Yes. Jesus. Yes. <laughs> Long. I, I kept waking up like, Jesus. I was in the attic. I was okay. staying in that the rocks. attic because we got there last and we real were FedEx all the vibes, new- am I right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Shout out real if you- FedEx. <laughs> Shout out if you get that reference. <laughs> I had a, a frog in a shoebox and I was in the attic. <laughs> and there was ch- a secret slide into the kitchen. Do you remember <laughs> FedEx from um, Cheaper by the Dozen? No. Oh. He lived in the attic and then everybody was acting like him. he got oh the worst God. room. He had the best that room. That was sick. He had a slide. Room. And Hilary Duff was forced to mother her siblings in that That's um, movie. We don't talk about that. Oh my God. And the other daughter left and left it all to her. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and that mom looked amazing that, for that many kids. That mom, a lot of kids. I mean, her lips were dragging on the floor. I'm like sure a, after the fourth kid, the lips, the lips are just open. Like, so it, like they're yeah. not getting any bigger. No, the <laughs> mouth is not closing. Do you understand? <laughs> In my mind, my mind just said free willy. Free <laughs> willy. Because they're jumping out yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so I'm literally FedEx on this trip yeah. fully. I have nothing to relate to anyone because nothing I do is, is similar to what anyone else does. Mm. Everyone works in an ER. Oh, like, uh, like, sure. like a very important job that has really important consequences. And you have like sort of a job that's like, um, like for fun and yeah, has fun, fun consequences. <laughs> There's no consequences. <laughs> so I'm like trying to relate to these girls and they're the talking about appendectomies and stuff. And I'm like, well, what is that? Mm. Like, I have no idea what's going on. So I kept going for a walk and thinking about real alimony vibes. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah. Totally. I have to pay my alimony child support. I have to pay child support. So um, <laughs> no girls make any reservations. Oh, that's time. a nightmare. Wow. I get there and I'm, I'm a psycho in that way. Totally. I get there and I go, what's the plan? Do we have an itinerary? These girls plan nothing. And I go, we have to make a team meeting. It's like a part. We have to go- make reservations right now. There's 12 There's of us. 12 of us. Listen, we don't know each other. We're all in this house. We have to make a party now. Yeah, right what? Now. <laughs> They're like, well, we bought we bought White Claw for the house. And I go, that's that's step one, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's on, hors d'oeuvres. That's hors d'oeuvres. That's appetizers. Wait, wait. So what about, was your friend there? Yeah, but she didn't plan anything. I thought her sisters were going to plan everything. And her sisters didn't plan anything. No. Yikes. There's got to be that something gives me like I started panicking. I literally started panicking. That gives me anxiety panicking. of like yeah. your bachelorette party one day and like I'm going to need like seven other people to help me plan. Because like my fear is like Zach, it me not, not pulling it together it. in time. <laughs> you are not planning it. There's going to be a you guys full... to just give me a clipboard and say Zach's yes. planning it and I'll be like, yes. And I'll be like. It's real Gilmore Girls when, um, uh, what's his name? The, the sister's husband. The sister's husband. The sister, the sister's Luke's sister's husband. Oh, oh, TJ. TJ. Wow, they let like, TJ do the fake contract to hammer the house. Yes. Um, Lizzie's the only person I know who knows everything about everything. Girls every in single thing. Oh, you guys yeah. look at deep the way, in the, in the, yeah. in the GU. Yeah. 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 There's going to be a big shadow government behind you for this one's bachelorette. I'm like a figurehead. Yeah. yeah, there's yeah. going to be like branches of ever. government. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you won't have to do shit, yeah. okay? That rocks all the glory. Uh, yeah, uh, you have to take out the trash wherever we stand. I will. That being said, I'm single. So <laughs> <laughs> let's make one thing perfectly clear. This is not happening. Hopefully anymore. I can figure out how Gmail works before that. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah, I we'll wish see. you well. So, I don't um, think so. So the first night I find all these wrecks. I'm like texting everyone I know. And I find this country. I have 12 hands. I have, I have, to do something. I have, I have 12 hands. There's so, I have hens. I basically got a chicken coop. Yeah. And we have to eat dinner. We've got to eat. Chicken's so got to eat. I find this country line dancing bar through recommendation. And we go in there That's and amazing. it's like a big dive bar. I, and at, literally men would come up to you in, in cowboy hats and say, would you like to dance? Yeah. And then do legit dance, like, like one, two. Two one. stepping. Yeah, two stepping. Yeah. And it was, it was the most charmed night I've ever had. See, Southern gentlemen. So Southern One of them was gentlemen. like, listen, I'm married. I have kids. Like, we just come out here and dance. But yeah. you're hot. <laughs> yeah, but you're hot. And I would <laughs> fuck I have you. sex with you. <laughs> I was like, oh, And oh, I'm oh. going to throw all that away because <laughs> I love you. So I got a family. I got children. <laughs> and I'm willing to throw them away for you. Southern men are so honest. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One man kept calling me his sweetheart. Oh, It was so nice. Guys don't do that up here. No. I was pounding. No, squid boys. <laughs> That's what I'm here in New they York. They are squid boys. <laughs> you fucking sloppy, slimy squid boys. Put on Dio. Put on one. Dio for once. I uh, would cut your hair and put on a shirt that fits. Go when, on. When you interact with a Texas man with a corn fed, 
and they show with you the how fed. you sh- with the corn fed and they show you how you should be treated. They say, would you like to dance with me? No, no, no fingers in the asshole. Not even once. Not I even swear. one. Yeah. I go, this is a gentleman. Oh my, did he do the lower back thing? But only because you said yes. Yeah. Well, no, not even. It, it's really upper back. And mm-hmm. then they dip you. It's it's not even lower I love back. to step in. You just brought it back. I know. Oh, Texas. Yeah. Did you guys do that growing up? I didn't do it growing up. When I went to, hold on now. <laughs> <laughs> Your when I went to visit out. my. Hold on Southern people are trying so hard not so, to show it well, in New York City. And when we are doing when it. When you get it go, well, going, they're like, ah, oh, well, you when know. When you like, get going. <laughs> no, when I would go visit my sister in college, we would go out. And like a place that you would often go because they would let you in even if you were underage is Hell yeah. two step in bars because you can dance and not drink. And so, yeah, two step line dance, Cotton Eye Joe, Footloose. I know the full Wait, Lizzie, do you, do, do you naturally have a Southern accent? <laughs> when I, when, yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't come out when we took like four grams of mushrooms. <laughs> I know. Well, I was on, I was, I mean, I wasn't on planet Earth, yeah, much no, less in the, the South. <laughs> 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 but yeah, if I'm like with my, I mean, you guys know my like mom, you know, yeah. She's, yeah. she when she gets rocking and rolling and we're, you know, I was doing her accent back to her and it wasn't to make fun of her. It was like, I feel it's contagious. I feel so comfy within this accent. Yeah. It's so I contagious. I think we should move to, to the South. I literally, okay. I have so much to say. Please. I have actually so much to say. And Please. we actually do have to uh, yeah. keep, okay. keep it going. So, so that was the calm night. There were a couple calm nights, right? Yeah. Cut to, <laughs> we have a boat day. Perfect. Mm. Girls on a boat, what could go what wrong? Could go wrong? <laughs> a bunch of pretty girls on a boat? All right. Tsunami. Tsunami. Do you understand? <laughs> so something comes over me when I um, go on a boat. Interesting. And you know that song that's like, go, go puss, pop your pussy like that. Go, go pop your pussy <laughs> like that. Yeah. That, that's my national anthem. Totally. Okay. I get on this boat. Now I'm trapped on a boat with 12 girls. Okay. Okay. Man's dream. No boy. <laughs> Man's dream. And it's this like this uh, boat company where they tie up your boat to a bunch of other boats. Okay. So it's like boat hopping, basically. Okay. So we get slutty. tied up like it sounds next slutty. to a bunch of like guys from Boston. Their boat. Are they hot? Don't can't really can't recall. Recall. <laughs> um, Hell yeah. So I get on this boat. I immediately take my clothes off. I'm in the tiniest bikini you've ever seen in your life. And I am drinking tequila like it's going extinct. Do you understand? <laughs> like the plant is dying. Yeah, like, I'm like, <laughs> We're down to the last the, three. All of the, the farms are going. <laughs> I more agave. drink the entire bottle of tequila and the whole day. I fully black but out. But you have your bones. I know. And your skin and I head. Fully <laughs> what do you mean? black out. Well, I kept making these girls on this boat because I, w- I was on the roof. I kept saying, handing them my cup, and I would say, Can you make me a drink? These girls were roofing me. Clearly. Yeah, yeah. They're totally. just. I don't remember. I'm me. not kidding. Half of the day, I allegedly made out with the cop. <laughs> <laughs> I allegedly made out with a cop from Boston. Uh, allegedly. Wow. Oh, I am. Covered in bruises. Oh my God, the cop. I am, oh God, I am covered. My entire legs are bruised. I bet you were just flopping <laughs> on the boat. Like, oh my God. Like into every corner of the boat. I, <laughs> I, <laughs> femurs against fucking vinyl all day. I like, woke up the next morning, looked at my phone. There's 150 pictures that I don't remember. I full blacked out. Apparently, I looked at my friend Maggie and I said, can you make me another drink? And then I almost fell off the boat and she said, no. She put an Adderall in my mouth. That rocks. And everyone knows when I take Adderall, it gets so much worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Really bad. Instead of spiraling you up, it might spiral you lat. <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah, I'm like, I yeah. double down on what I'm doing. Yeah. If you give me an Adderall. <laughs> First time I took Adderall, famously, I got front bangs. Okay? And that's, yeah, that's yeah. a sign, girls. Well, no wonder everyone's on Adderall these days. That's why there's so many bangs. I woke up with an orange cone on my head on the dock hours later. Hours later, I had texts from this cop. This cop is trying to meet up with me. Don't, no. Yeah. And you're like, uh, wait, the wait co- did the girl just you, leave you, you? there? No, I was with two girls. A lot of them were gone. <laughs> like, um, hello. <laughs> I get back to the house and I was like, I'm serious. Everyone look at me. What happened? <laughs> what, what did I do? What did I do? This rocks. I, it was insane. I remember like lightly hours later giving someone advice about their like divorce in a hot tub. Like, You're like, I, was, I have a podcast. I have a podcast. I, like, I'm wait. really good at advice. <laughs> okay. 
I don't remember anything. I don't remember anything. That's so wow. The effect that you are you are speaking power to that happens to I've noticed a lot of women when they get on a sea vessel. Okay, yeah. that the demon. Okay, you remember SpongeBob? Yes. You remember the pirate ship? Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that pirate named? Um, the 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 Flying Dutchman. The yes. Flying Dutchman. So when I even see a boat, I'm the Flying Dutchman. <laughs> I, know, I, think, I think men across the world have um isolated that effect on women, and yeah. that's why men um are sprinting to buy a boat. The second a man yes. comes into money, he's like about. You I'm don't about, need ro- roofies. You need to buy a boat. One boat. And will roofie ourselves? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll actually do the leg work. Yeah. <laughs> I put my big toe on that boat, like SpongeBob's toe comes yeah. out in the boating school. <laughs> I hit one toe, and I'm like, I'm gonna pop my pussy. I literally was throwing my body off the boat. I'm, I'm, I'm. Well, thank God that cop was there to save you. Yeah, Yeah. and that's what he did. Apparently, my friend Maggie looked at me and said, go make out with that cop. And I said, okay. And I stood up, walked over and said, you want to make out? And then I made out with this guy. Well, you were like a, a regular girl. Like like a party girl, yeah. yeah, a club party girl. That's in you. There's a part of you that is a party club girl. Sometimes it's not all business and slack. Sometimes, sometimes it's tits out on a boat. On sometimes a pontoon. It's, it's Miami Austin. A pontoon. Texas. Yeah, it's Miami Austin, Texas. It's Miami it's Austin, Texas, Las Vegas, baby. Nevada. <laughs> 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 but this is all to say that the South rocks. Yeah, I'm not okay. No, the South rocks, comma. I'm not okay, comma. I've been watching Yellowstone. Mm -hmm. I think we should move to a ranch and be Southern people. I know Yellowstone's not set in the South, but Montana is the South. I'm down. It is like in- in, It's the South. I know- But for New Yorkers, it's the South. It's the South. South. Like as far as- I've been watching Yellowstone. I'm in my cowboy shit. Oh, I want a toxic marriage to a man that murders for a living. Yum, yum, yum. But Uh, treats you with respect. But treats me with respect. (laughs) Yeah, but you're like, where are you going at night? Yeah. Don't ask those questions again. He's like, don't ask me anything. You don't want to know. Okay, there's wolves by the barn. (laughs) I'm so in. I watched eight hours of um, Yellowstone on a plane last night. I- I also, I kind of want to move to Nashville or, or I want to get out of here. I think we should move to Montana. What if, well, girls, give oh, just, give us, <laughs> just give us some feedback. If this podcast was exactly the same, but coming at you at Lizzie's parents' house, you yeah. need to stay there for a little bit while we figure some stuff out. Yeah. Love to crash. <laughs> Love to crash. They would be so thrilled. Would you guys still be down? Yeah. <laughs> I want to know. Would you guys still be down if it was this, but a little <sighs> more in the South? A little bit more in the South. Yeah, so my sister has a boat. So. But when a woman owns a boat, gay guys go crazy. I yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's the difference. So that's and you're gonna that. wanna, you're gonna wanna burn that boat. When it's yeah, I would say, <laughs> you're gonna wanna sink it. I would say for gay men, boats are single use. Like, <laughs> Like one a day context, baby. Throw it out throw when it it's out. done. It's not, it's not working It anymore. doesn't work two days in a row. What's that goo in the rudder? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the vibe. Uh, hey, was this boat crystallized? Yeah. <laughs> like a rock candy, baby. Throw it out. <gasps> And just a little time check. We've been talking for 25 minutes. That's oh, crazy. Really? We have to go to our segment. I moved. <laughs> <laughs> I moved this weekend while she You're was gone. Settling. You moved settling. in with two girls. I moved in with from two guys to two girls. Which is the great divide. It is great. <laughs> it is the great divide. It is something. I moved from a house. Got, girls, look at your surroundings. Feng shui matters in a huge way. Rhyming. Rhyming. Okay. <laughs> okay, rapping, I would say. I'm rapping. <laughs> um, no, I, I. my last place had demonic feng shui. Frank Shea. Frank Shea. And now I live in a house cultivated by women, which I learned is actually kind of like, I don't know what I'm going to do when I have a husband someday. We're going to have to import a few gay. girls. Don't to even like, worry. He'll be gay. He'll be gay. Yeah, but I'm a gay guy. You'll yeah, hire a, a decorator. What, if, what does that mean? I'll, I'll do it. Just, you're, just, you, do it. you're different in the way where you'll do it. Yeah. yeah. Just go Perfect. on a trip for a weekend. Yeah. And give me an unlimited budget and, and a black key. card. Well, that would be my husband's credit card. Exactly. For sure. Yeah, of course. Carl. Hand it over. Carl. Have Carl. fun. I don't know. I want Carl. Okay. I want you to have a Carl. I want okay. Carl. Okay. I love Carl. I think he's coming my way. You think? Well, you uh, you said you had a psychic vision or a psychic <gasps> told you. I forget what the details were that you were going to fall in love in March. Guess what? It's March. Oh, it's March. It I know. But I think that that was actually a veiled, a veiled prophetic thing and something else happened to me. Oh, what? I think I'm in love with what? me. Uh, <laughs> oh, because you did another... Um, yeah, I had another one of those crazy ceremonies, and I, I actually, I'm feeling pretty good. I don't give a fuck. Catch this universe. Hear me now. I don't even need love. I actually will. 
I will say, I will say I was on a trip and everyone was in a relationship bes- besides me, literally. And I was like, this is such a luxury. And I, I have you made out the cop. having, I made out with a cop, like talk about having fun for once. <laughs> <laughs> I a love trope on being its head. single right now. I'm actually not interested in something serious. I'm loving being single yeah. right now. Loving it. I know. I still, you know, the, the, the cage bird must sing. And that can mean anything in this scenario. <laughs> and I want you to take what I said and really pick your poison because I don't <laughs> really know. I, I, I have a lot more fucking and sucking to do before I'm done. That's what oh, I meant. Well, there you go. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, what's our segment? Okay. That's actually a great transition. Of because fucking and sucking? For science? Fucking and sucking for science. science. Because today we're talking about sexy science news slash facts slash fun facts about science Sexy and animals. Science. I want that all written out. <laughs> sexy, <laughs> sexy, sexy science. Sexy science. Science for sexy animals doing sexy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so this all started when you sexy Gabby- Sexy science, don't make me say it. The SS. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I found out that a guy who I had a crush on- Is a Nazi? Is a Nazi? He told me that his family, like we were at the gym. It's not the other, that guy. It's an, it's, I have a lot of crushes, guys. Life is abundance and I have an abundance of crushes. Cornucopia totally. It's crushes. a cornucopia, yes. Yeah. yeah. I may have picked up some knowledge down there. <laughs> I learned cornucopia. Yeah, that word. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's not. Cornucopia is not floating around down south. <laughs> I blacked out on a boat, woke up, and I said cornucopia. cornucopia. Yeah. <laughs> it's a vision. That word's going to mean something later. Oh, that's yeah. going yeah. to mean something. Like, um... Um, your first baby or something will be named cornucopia. Cornucopia, <laughs> come. That, that's a great cornucopia name. Cornucopia, come now. Come Dinner right time. here. time. That's a good name. I would add that to our list of la baby names. La baby. <laughs> <laughs> la baby. We'll make a website. For our baby book eventually. Um, what was I just saying? Oh, I I, uh, one of my crushes, uh, we were just talking. And he goes, yeah, my ancestors, I'm from Argentina. They were Nazis, like SS. Ooh. And I was like, oh, ha, what a weird thing to bring up in the middle of a conversation. <laughs> yeah, no good. <laughs> we were talking about the weather. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, my, our ancestors, our shared ancestors came over on the Mayflower. Those weren't necessarily good people. No. That is true. And everyone loves to forget that. And no one's ever contested it. But me and Gabby's, <laughs> both we, we both have ancestors who were on the Mayflower, the Mayflower which is famously the, the big boat which is that the started big, this whole mess. And yeah, there were some other boats, but that was the really famous one. Hate to say we were on the famous one. That was the It Girl boat. The original Nobodies Titanic. were on the other one. Yeah. I hate to say it. The Pinta. The if, <laughs> if you were on the Pinta, you were not hot. <gasps> that was that was the boat. That was the, they were like when I like I want to see the person the Pinta, who was the like Santa Maria. They were like being like, okay, you guys on the Santa Maria. You're, you're on the Pinta. On the Pinta. <laughs> Have fun. That was our job, yeah. our ancestors' job. Um, f- sex. Um, yes. Sex yeah. of animals. Sex of animals. So this started when you shared in our group chat. The the breaking news story that humpback whales were photographed for the first time ever having sex, and the twist was it was two male humpback whales. So for Wait. context, we to shout out scientists again, and by shout out I mean wreck, pwned, get wrecked, even you got pwned hard, pwned, bitch, pwned ass. It's like embarrassing because everyone was on our side in the clip. It's so. crazy. It's we really posted a clip shitting on scientists, and everyone was on our side. But here's the thing about scientists. <laughs> There's humpback, they say there's humpback whales. We've never seen them fuck. We're not even trying to see. That's so we, not like men. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, <laughs> you think that a man discovers an animal and immediately is like, how do they fuck? Well, what are they fucking about? What are they fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. about and who and why? And why? And can I so, fuck it? And can I, I get weird? in there what or is that wrong? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so two humpback whales. <clears throat> I mean, you'd think that a guy in a lab named Sean was like, <laughs> Back. Well, the guy <laughs> who who they hump in, yeah. you know, like, oh. they didn't they didn't even say that. Okay, science who loser science what they finally found two humpback whales humping gay guys. They're gay and guys. They are gay guys. <laughs> Wait, so they're fucking. I know how gay human sex works. It's easy. Okay, it happens. <laughs> it's like exactly a, like, as you think. It, it's exactly how you think, and it's easier than you think. That's the crazy part of okay. human gay sex. It's way easier, and then it works. And you're like, yo, yeah. God, God was a little freak. Yeah, this was definitely God's like backup plan that he didn't like take phase out. You yes. Know? Um, and then he was like, I guess we'll just make it into a whole nother. Just do Girl. something different with it, but keep it just in case. Who They're knows? cool. Yeah. Um, how were they fucking? 
Uh, well, Dick I... Dick and Blowhole? Or is that it, is that like 69ing? No, it doesn't explain to me where, but like if you want to see the picture... <laughs> well, that looks like my last Saturday night. <laughs> yeah. You've so, got to imagine that they're it's... They're fucking straight butt. Like yeah. he's like dick and ass. I like, think doing butt first fuck. off, where's its ass? No one's ever saying that. I think it's in the back where all asses may this be. This is another Beautiful. angle of it. Oh, that, they're okay. Oh, oh he's not like going like fucking. Yeah. He's that's like riding like, it. That's yeah. like whoa. That's that like, like martini you, sex. Like it's, that's it's, fucked it's, up. Yeah, it's actually. Wait, show me the picture again. Okay, it's really. <laughs> it's a lot. Wow, I've never oh. seen a dick, a whale dick, full mass. Full, full mass. mass. That wow. humpback literally said, let me see that ass, though. He's yeah. like, you could see, wait, one more time. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> Look at, it's it's like, it's spine is like, you know that shape guys get when they're fucking, where they're like, uh, yeah, like it's like at the dumb, the dumb shoulders. Whoa. Whoa. That, I feel like grossed out even looking at that. It's not a good situation. That's like, even in whales, gay sex is a sin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those, those whales are going to hell. You, you, that whale, I'm serious, yeah. is going to hell. Yeah. Wait, this, not even in the blowhole. I would try it once. Blow, like, well, blow that's like up and up top. Yeah. That's not that's on like its your head. Mouth. No, they have it's a like mouth. It's like your mouth. No. <laughs> it's it's like they your have mouth. a mouth. Their mouth is different. It's full of those brush like teeth There's that the they mouth. use to, to absorb krill. Well, maybe that feels good <laughs> on your cock and ball. <laughs> good point. Um. So, uh, <laughs> is that a dick or is that just krill? Get in here. Get in here. <laughs> Get in here. Oh, I like you. I like you. <laughs> Gay humpback whales. Gay humpback whales. Talk about an oxymoron. Gay, Gay humpback, humpback whales. Hat on a hat. Not an oxymoron. No. What's the opposite? Hat, hat on a hat. 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 Uh, yes. Something that proves itself twice. Yes. Hat on a hat. Hat on a hat. So, yeah, we had these two gay humpback whales. Um, and in the research talking or find like about the this encounter. What the scientists say? Well, a same sex no like homo. no 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 actually the opposite. Same sex behavior is common in the animal kingdom and has been well documented in other species. Uh, studies notate, noted that it has previously been like observed, a species named Zach. Exactly right. <laughs> in guys named Zach and a number of marine animals, including named Zach, <laughs> including Zach. <laughs> walruses <laughs> d- uh, dolphins and gray seals okay Zach. so just to roll that back yeah. humpback whales are gay walruses that's gay mm-hmm. uh seals gay seals as well dolphins. as dolphins twinks yes. oh and over the last several years really onto something with that yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah there were gay penguin couples in zoos in denmark the netherlands and the united states and they've gone viral for taking care of eggs and raising baby penguins together okay this is huge i'd like to say something you think it's all the plastic in the ocean maybe i think it's <laughs> when you bring um uh you know a a zoo is sort of an aquarium even is sort of a city yeah it's like a metropolitan it's a area. metropolitan it's like area me- for animals yeah of course so you're gonna put a bunch they of- go there to be famous yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like- they're like i'm not meant for the antarctic okay but then it slowly erodes ha- them on the inside like a city does oh my god the parallels so you, the parallels the are, parallels are crazy out, yeah. so you bring a penguin to a big city <laughs> an aquarium of course it's like oh i could be gay here i'm free finally so uh, finally so it's like they can't be gay on the icebergs they have to go behind a glass put on a show for little perverts watching them be gay. <laughs> perverts okay yeah pervs pervs um <laughs> I, you know, <laughs> that's gross if you go to watch it. I actually watched this really heartbreaking documentary of two gay penguins on in the um the Arctic. Oh, um, or the the what's the, Antarctica? I almost said subarctic. Who made that? Yes. Ryan Murphy? Uh, yeah, I know. They were like, we're like, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> like, uh, and then it got really terrible at the end. No, um, uh, what happened? It was like a to them. It was like a two gay penguins. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then this other penguin couple got killed by like a seal or something, but it left its egg, and they both came to it and protected the egg but there has to be this like every season one has to go and like eat a bunch of fish and then come and puke it up in the thing's yeah, mouth yeah, yep. and then the other one like <sighs> dies because it can't not always but because it has to stay there for so long and if the thing can't make it back in time and so it was like like a sad gay love death story but like oh. it, it was really see even in real life gay men cannot win so it's like a classic tale of <laughs> thank like, you for that for putting gay- that in the world for me <laughs> like a gay couple have you looked around gay men are winning uh, no and now eggs are seven dollars <laughs> <laughs> literally 
say this gay lord is just trying to protect its egg and its partner can't make it back in time because of I understand your prejudice. Of what? <laughs> I'm sure a lot of chicks are getting killed too. And by chicks, I mean women. Yeah, but no one fucking cares about them. Yeah, that just, that's what, listen, this documentary was a great example of why every Oscar movie is a gay romance because it's just so sexy. <laughs> it's so it sexy. It is good. Um, oh, no. not enough women leads? How about two male we'll leads? We'll make them two, but both bottoms. Is yeah. that all right with you, Academy? And girls are like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll take that. Well, speaking of um, female leads, I'd like to give my next fact, which is about Charlotte. <laughs> The Stingray. <gasps> and Charlotte oh the oh Stingray. This is completely other conversations. This is completely, completely this other is conversations. Sort of the opposite end of the spectrum. This is, is happening in real time. This happening is the, now. This is so Charlotte, too. Like Sex so and the Charlotte. City Charlotte. Um, so there's a Stingray in, in an aquarium. That, where? Huh? Where? Do you in know where? In North Carolina. In North Carolina. Yeah. Her name is Charlotte. And she is pregnant. Oh, and there is no... What's she going to do with it? There's no father. <laughs> so are you going to keep it? Are you going to keep it? Do you want me to drive you? Do you want me to drive you? To I'll, drive I'll drive the boat. I'll drive the boat. I'll drive the boat. It's okay. It's okay. No, it's fine. It's, it's fine. Good. It happens. It happened to me. 2006. It was I've weird. had like five stingrays. No, like, <laughs> <laughs> stingrays. So yeah, she, the stingray turned up pregnant. Um, and there's no other male stingrays in the tank. There there's were only well, sharks. Well, I want all the employees, all those sharks. teenage boys to line up. <laughs> yeah. <I> wanna... <laughs> we're, we'll be plucking hair follicles today, boys. Who fucked the stingray? <laughs> the stingray. Who the fucked stingray. Charlotte? Kyle? Yeah. Like, you creep? Not, not Lizzie's Kyle. <laughs> 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 Kyle in the abstract. Other Kyle. Okay, random Kyle. That was, that was uh, an objective yeah, yeah, Kyle. Yeah, yeah, no, he would Our never. no Kyle at this point. <laughs> Sorry, not Kyle. <laughs> So they so Michael. this stingray is alone in a tank with no other stingrays, only sharks. Yes. So everyone's like, is it going to be a new species of shark ray? Yeah. Or can stingrays inseminate themselves, which is crazy. Well, no, they can. They can. They have the ability. Shark X stingray collab. Like shark X stingray. Yeah. So the, it's not possible. It's like North for the sharks Gucci. and the stingrays. Like a fox and a dog is impossible. It's impossible. It's genetically it's close, impossible. But, uh, Science. They had to come out and be like, hey. We know it seems like it would be cool if it was the sharks. We promise you there's no way. I know that sounds sick. I know like the like the bro scientists like, I know guys, that, I know we're all I know for it. hot. I've already started writing the script. I think it would be fucking sick. It's oh not going to happen. I, if I was that stingray, if I was Charlotte, right, and I get dropped into a tank and it's only hot guy sharks, I'd be like, I'll at least try. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it you. a go. I'll fuck well, you. I have to be honest. This is great PR for stingrays because the last time they were in the, the headlines, they killed Steve, Steve Irwin. Irwin. So my entire life great for them totally. stingrays have been my favorite animal my entire life i was a little girl wow. in kindergarten and they would say what's your favorite animal and i would say stingray and they would be like oh that's kind of weird You'd i'd say puffin 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 those little penguin-esque little yeah. birds i don't know that, why that's also weird why we're freaks because we're, we're because we're not like other girls we're freaks <laughs> we're like freaks. weird animals i would go to the jenks aquarium on the jersey shore in point pleasant and i would pet stingrays oh i'm actually i was always afraid of them because they're slimy i like that See, and that's why we make such good friends. <laughs> totally. Did we figure out how it got pregnant or is that yes. something that does happen? That sometimes? is something. So apparently it's something that can happen. It's on the rare side, but asexual reproduction where offspring develop from unfertilized eggs Move is something way, that <laughs> stingrays and other kind of amphibian fish reptiles like also can do it sounds like a good um ability to have in a pinch yeah right like, like if you we if, can't she's like that. i'm 34 it's not gonna happen yeah I'm i like no guy in this myself. neighborhood is like my type yeah i've yeah. done the apps i've 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 floated around Blubber. the coral reefs <laughs> what's that what is yeah. that blubber <laughs> You didn't even explain that and you got yourself good. Blubber. Like, I just you? saw her swiping off blubber. blubber. There's like a sea urchin. There's only sea urchins on the <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, like, <laughs> Okay, short, most shorter, compatible shorter. with a clam. Are a you fucking a, kidding? A ball of balaclava. Baklava. Hello. Baklava. Balaclava? Balaclava. What are you trying the to say? The word of for clams. It's not baklava. No. It's, it's not baklava. <laughs> I think we can all put that to rest. <laughs> <laughs> and a balaclava is also, I think that's um, a hat. I'm, I'm, it's called like a, it's called something. Okay. I don't know. <gasps> Remember Clammy from Spongebob? Not to be on my Spongebob No, of course. Today. Remember the baby clam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was That's awesome. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, so. Wait. Be, be <laughs> What are we doing? <laughs> what? Be Volvia. A, a bivalve. Bivalve. A bivalve. A bivalve. <laughs> I that is a word I was right. Yes, I know that actually. Um, 
back that's okay that just ruined the the blubber bit but that's just sorry the, you just, the momentum you, of this podcast <laughs> that ruined the rhythm of the episode did, it fuck, did i fuck up that bad you needed to say baklava so bad i did baklava, baklava. <laughs> it's not it's bob whatever bob um, um, last thing about the stingray yeah say it unless you have more um, then, <laughs> then this is the penultimate thing about the stingray. <laughs> Martini um, shot. So I'm, I'm gl- so I had a kid like um, I had a kid. <laughs> human baby like god like fucked up with the next second coming of jesus and like accidentally oh, shot I it, put into it in a, a stingray it drowns oh. immediately oh fuck like the baby comes right back he's like dad <laughs> like a stingray i would i didn't understand the aquarium part and yeah. he's like oh, oh i shit. was crossfaded i was so crossfaded <laughs> was so god getting crossfaded and fucking up <gasps> um make him gay, make him gay. <laughs> um okay okay did you okay? So that's that's the stingrays. So now let's Shout let's get away from fish. Okay, let's Just go the, out of the ocean. Yeah, because we covered gay 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 whales. Yeah, no, we're gonna do some hetero stingray. stuff. Yeah. Hetero stuff. Some hetero animal stuff. So Hell we're yeah. gonna start with. I wish we could put up like like hetero, hetero stuff. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll start Fire. with this. <laughs> do that, Parker, please. Uh, oh. uh, <laughs> so. Male white bellbirds, when they're feeling frisky, they'll sidle up to a female, inhale deeply, and scream directly into her face. (laughs) Okay, so that applies to guys everywhere. everywhere. (laughs) Their calls are the loudest ever recorded in the avian world, peaking at roughly 115 decibels which is the equivalent of shoving your head into a speaker at a rock. <laughs> what, what kind of animal is it? It's a white bellbird. It's just like a You know the girl bird. bellbird is like, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, my Jesus God. Christ. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're really cute. Thank yeah. you. You're cute. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I, Wait, uh, that's just like real life. Yes. And why yes. Talk about going to Murray Hill. <laughs> oh, get their ass. Yeah. Straight guys, buck up. Um, like, can I see what it looks like? <laughs> yes, I'm pulling up the picture. Hold on. <laughs> I thing. love saddle. I love the visual of like them walking up, saddling up. Like saddling up is sort of just like sitting it and being like, "Oh, there's hey, a- hey!" <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god! Oh my god! Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> you want a drink? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. Jesus, fuck, fuck, Jesus. Yeah, to calm oh down. God, I'll get a ass. drink. You got my there ass. is a there is a video. Do we want to listen? To <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's see, let's see how I'm gonna. I got my it. ass with that one. <laughs> okay, I've never listened to this, so I'm scared. Let's, let's see. It's gonna trigger me. For it's it. a, a woman is sitting by herself. Should we play that back? Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like, like, sound like a cyborg. Like Every metal. girl's like, oh, <laughs> whoa, fuck. Oh, no, fuck. What? What's your name? What's your name? Or they're like, fuck, 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 fuck. That's really Do the girls do any sharp. noise? Um, that sounds like that sounds like that um, Microsoft voice where it could be like hello, like, yeah. like yeah. Clippy, Clippy <laughs> or Zippy. It was Fuck Clippy. It. Yeah, um, though the girls do not. As far as this article goes, girls cannot win. You can fly <laughs> to the highest tree, and there's some guy still screaming yeah. in your ass. Screaming yeah. Yo, yeah. he's going like this. Yo, <laughs> I can't believe you just showed us the most unfuckable bird in the world. <laughs> 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 like that bird is so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <gosh. Hey! laughs> yes! What? What? Fuck. Jesus, oh Carl. My god. Fuck. Oh. God, God, uh. just kick, just text me. Just text me. I think I'm gonna start looking for other birds on feather. I know. <laughs> that was a hetero. That was our hetero section. <laughs> Thank you guys Wait. so much. That was our hetero section. It was an amazing hetero. episode. We had so much fun today. One of them is called Lay, like Lay, lay Eggs. Yeah, that's like the kink one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Animal, <laughs> Animal Kingdom. Um. Hey, have I seen you before? <laughs> 
what? Yeah. A nest is for like hinge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like you wanna you wanna make a nest. That's uh, good. That's um, good. And migrate is like if you're traveling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you turn mi- the migrate setting on. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm going. What south. would Raya be? Um. Canopy. Whoa. The top of the forest. Whoa. That is Fuck. so good. That, that's what really we good. just did was so good. <laughs> Every girl out there, <laughs> write that down by <laughs> idea. So remind me later. <laughs> God, where's our animated TV show? Someone brought that up to me today. Someone told me they had a dream about us, you and me. Um, that we had a uh, like basically an SNL style show, but it was us and everything. Every sketch was a different animated style, but of us. And we Who were the voices that? by our friend Brooke. Brooke? Yeah. Come and she's on. psychic. So. She's psychic, actually. So I would take that to heart. I do have more, but we do unfortunately have to wrap. So do we we'll want to maybe save a few for the Patreon. Today? I was just thinking yeah. the same thing. These do are we fun. have to wrap wrap or can I do mine quickly? Can uh, yes, we can we can do yours. What do you want? Okay, so I don't know if this is true. Okay. Oh, you brought an animal. Fact. I brought. I it's brought. I got so not, scared that you brought up. Not an animal fact, but it's science. So this is a legal document, a restraining order against Zach Senor. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no. So so this week was sexy science, right? Yeah, yeah. I just heard science. Yes. Okay. So I brought in a theory. Mm. <laughs> I brought in a theory. Perfect. A scientific theory. It has nothing to do with sex. It I can make it. I bet I could make it. But it me. does. But oh. it does. So this is the theory of entropy, okay? And I'm just going to read the first sentence. Entropy is a scientific concept that is most commonly associated with a state of disorder, randomness, and uncertainty. <laughs> okay? Well, that's like... This that's is that's a scientist like, going like this. That is the universe going on. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so like, basically, the example that I received, which could be true or could not be true, unsure, uh, the man who told me had a face tattoo. Love it. So, confirmed. Confirmed. So the he theory knows is... He does. So the, the theory is, if you take a brick of gold, let's say... Yeah, let's say it. And you, you melt it down and you add stuff to it. You add metal, you add sparkles, you add sauce, you add a bunch of stuff. <laughs> and if you go too far, that brick of gold can never return to its once pure state. It has to um, divulge into chaos, right? Like break apart. So it's like once you add too many elements to a once pure element, it, it has no choice but to descend into chaos and it can never return to its once full state. Wow. This totally is a parallel to what we were talking about with men's fashion. <laughs> I think men's fashion is currently going through that. Yes. Where yeah. We had the pure state. It was the frilly neck thing. Yeah. Yes. It was the stockings. It was the little buckle shoe madelines. Yeah. It was the madelines that men would wear. Yes. It's like this is fun and funky enough. As is. And now we're adding. And the- then we're adding collars and we're adding kilts and we're adding mullets and we're adding nose rings and we're adding so much that we'll never return to the once Puritan state we once were. No, okay? no. Where women are going more girly. Yeah. Like you were taking girliness and you were taking to it to the nth degree. But it's isolated. It's We're not adding anything. We're taking what we have and amping, 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 amping. amping. Men are, 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 are taking everything. Okay. Greedy. Idiots. Grubby, greedy hands. Classic Roman Empire bullshit. Yeah, okay, it's coming down. Okay, so- Another example of entropy. Exactly The right. Roman Empire. So that everything can be compared to the Roman Empire. Our society as a whole right now, we're adding Definitely. so much to it. <laughs> we're adding so much to it. We're adding so many different opinions that are contradicting everything else. And we are descending into chaos. <gasps> and we will never come together as a once pure thing, such as gold. There's too much in there now. And we'll never come together in a bow again. It's oh almost God. like, you know, when you're a kid and you go to a, a restaurant and they have all the soda and you mix all the sodas. You get you, you get all of them. Like, yeah, and you think yes. this is going to be great? Disaster. disaster. Brown as Gross. hell. It's it's a disaster and it's the fruit punch. It's it oh, once really you add comes it down up. to the, the fruit, fruit punch. punch. It up. Um, Fuck. That is another example of entropy. That is entropy. <laughs> if you think about dating, if you think about dating, you had three, let's start with our first three boyfriends. They taught you every single lesson you've ever known. The first three people you dated, you understand chaos, you understand trauma, you understand good mm. yeah. and evil. And the, the last one you, is you're like, oh, I don't want that. Oh, you're like, oh, sorry. Not that that's, one for wait, sure. Blah, blah, yeah. Blah. Oh, maybe the first 
you know, you start going back. You Maybe actually the first ricochet is actually back okay. to the first. Yeah. Once you start adding more and more exes into the mix, you go, I don't, you look at a, ma- a new man, a new fresh man. You go, I don't even know what to think about you anymore. I know too much. Yeah. I will never look at you as one You descend one to whole. chaos and start an LLC and exactly. have no kids. Like that's like, that's what happens. Yeah. Exactly right. The theory of entropy is this podcast. Totally. Oh, yeah. We're adding so many segments that uh, one day is just going, like, what are we even talking about at this nope. point? People are going to listen to this and say, put them in a home. Well, I actually think that we are almost a, um, a, a, a contradiction to the law of entropy just because we started in chaos. Yeah. Where could it go? Like, you can't, like, you it, can't nuke It was nuke. never pure. The nuke has yeah. been nuked, okay? <laughs> never like, pure. We're opposite. <laughs> we're at ground zero, honey. We're coming into order. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, once we found Lizzie. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, there's so much structure. <laughs> he's like, I'm going to flip the script. Gravity yeah. isn't real. Right. Yeah, I'll show you entropy, bitch. Yeah. It's called a run of show. <laughs> entropy, my yes. Entropy. Isn't that good science? That's, That's great, great science. science. And I the guy who created it? <laughs> The guy that has, can we name this episode? That's great science. <laughs> that's no, that's great, science. great science. No, that's, no, great, that's science. great science. And the guy sure. who created it or, you know, theorized it is named Rudolph. Okay. I, the, I know I keep saying this, the most fuckable name in Hollywood. <laughs> 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 I mean, the red nosed reindeer talk about original Holly, big Hollywood. Big huge. Hollywood, big bucks. I mean, even list. Santa was like, you want to like, be on my team. Wait, I actually fucked up and it looks sick. <laughs> you gotta collab. <laughs> Wanna lead my team? I, mean, I fucked up, it looks sick. I fucked up. I was being crazy. I think it looks sick, by the way. <laughs> you want to um, lead my team? So on that note, I guess we have to hop over to we, the Patreon, yes, guys. Yes. We have we are gonna stop here. And, and you're going to have to jump your little ass over to our Patreon. Yep. Over there, tell them, Gabby, we have stuff that they want. And what is it? Talk about entropy. We have so much goddamn <laughs> junk swirling around that Patreon. $5 a month, that's nothing. It couldn't that's be less. That's chump change. Your chai is more. Yeah, your, your chai, chai is more. more. Are your we worth less more. than a chai to you? Oh, so you think we're <laughs> worth less than a chai. <laughs> all right. Yeah, all right. All right. We well have then you extra can't episodes. We have um, extra 10 to 20 minutes every single goddamn week. Zach has a spell up there. I have a that couple. That worked, by the way. That worked. I have a couple of makeup tutorials. We have a full candy mukbang. Oh, we do stories, things that we can't do. We don't have time for on the podcast. We tell tales. We, um, we also are building the girl cinematic universe, which is a whole other talk about and entry. Yeah, that actually makes That's a lot of sense for that law is that mm-hmm. we are building so much that it, it like the real world. It's going to come to an end in a big bang. It's going to collapse. So join us over there with three different tiers or maybe even way more than that. We have five, ten, I think more. And then even as well as 100. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. see you over there and and leave us a review on Apple review. Girlies, really leave us a review. Comment on our shit. Got Come girls. In. Share our clips. Share clips. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok. I'm putting so much shit on our TikTok right oh, now. That. It's crazy how much shit I'm putting on our TikTok. I love it. Just rate and review and subscribe, bitch. And, um, and watch our video episodes on YouTube if you're not. Because we uh, wear fun a, We're getting a lot of people. Uh, there was someone who made a comment. Um, They left a review and they were like, love this. You got to watch the video because their their faces are telling half the story. We are doing a lot of act outs. So Pantomiming, probably, I would yeah, say. Pantomiming. You want to go to our YouTube. You're missing some key points that trigger laughs. They, we might laugh and die and you might be like, damn, did I miss the joke? You got to watch. You got to watch because something could be such a micro moment. I know we're, this is an audio medium and we should work on that. Whatever. But whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to. Um, we love you. Um, wings really quick. Wings. Yeah. We have to practice really quick wings. Quick, 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 quick. I love your outfit. Zach, you're finally dressing the way I've always wanted you to dress. You look amazing. I'm obsessed with you. Gabby Bryan, you going away on that trip. I'm so happy that you had so much fun and kissed a cop. Um, while you're gone, I can feel your energy uh, farther <laughs> away from me. We got to cut that out. <laughs> um, <laughs> A critique. Um, I think you look amazing. You said, yeah. We got to stop that. We got to stop that. Enough, enough. Lizzie. Lizzie? Lizzie? Yes. Lizzie? Yes. Oh my I, God. Every time I'm wow. in your aura, I'm in your universe, okay. I feel stronger, more powerful, more centered. Love you. I think I was supposed to meet you because my destiny is down south and probably in Texas. And I think that you we, you and me have a long road together. I will guide you so there. So strap, strap in. I agree with that as well. And strap also, on. I think we should all move to Montana. Okay. Yes. We'll, 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 have to, we'll, do, a, we'll do a doble vu to, um, Always. to from yes. Texas. to. I'll find the house. I'll Thank book you. the house. Can't say that word ever again in the South, by the way. What? Double vu. I'll get shot. <laughs> <laughs> Double vu is gay W, famously. Uh, or Wyoming. I'm fine with that. Jackson. Okay. Maybe. Okay. And on that note, guys, I'll see your ass on the Patreon. See your ass over there. 